Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to a Funko Pop convention here in Orlando, Florida. Let's go. So today we're going to the PopCon and more convention that is hosted over here in the Double Tree by the entrance of Universal Orlando. So this is the convention that is usually hosted like three to four times a year. They do it about two to three months. Uh, they go ahead and they rent out this hotel right here. Um, I do know that sometimes they have changed hotels in the past. So there's a chance that they could change it in the future. So make sure to go ahead and check them out on Instagram. We're gonna go ahead and put their link in the bio. So we're gonna go ahead and go inside. They have a bunch of Funko Pop vendors that I'm excited to go ahead and check out. And let's go ahead and see if we're gonna buy any Funko Pops today. If you guys would like to see more videos like this of us going to conventions and uh, different events, make sure to subscribe to the channel right now because we're posting them um, pretty often. All right, so over here you guys can see they have the PopCon sign. They say that the entrance is in the lobby, so we're gonna go ahead and go straight ahead. So I've never gone to this event before. I do know it is a lot of Funko Pop vendors and the vendors here usually have really big setups, so I'm excited. The entry is only $5. And I completely forgot to let you guys know that they're actually having, they actually have the voice actor for Naruto here today. Um, just that voice actor, but again, a really big name. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people, the line yesterday, uh, so this is actually day two, we're coming on a Sunday. And the line for that voice actor of Naruto was very, very long. They also have uh, Peter Raimundo here. He's the animator and artist for Stitch. So he's also gonna be here as well. All right, into the Doubletree Hilton orlando lobby and as you guys can see they have the banner up over here so here's the banner for the event popcorn and more a pop culture comic-con and these are like all the collectibles they're advertising so you know let's go ahead and check it out all right so first impressions of the event it is massive there's these vendor setups are insane guys we got right there pop fandom toys and over here we got gorilla lobster collectibles I mean, if you want Funko Pops, I'm pretty sure you can find any Funko Pop you want here. This is pretty insane. Honestly, kind of overwhelming at this point. It is, I was not expect. I mean, I saw like on Instagram, but these displays are insane, ladies and gentlemen. They have so many different Funko Pop vendors here. And I mean, there's a reason why this place is called PopCon and more. It is going to be the full focus of this event. We do, of course, have a few like trading card people and uh different other collectibles but yeah for the most part you guys can just see it is all funko pops here and over here is where they have a male and then peter Ramundo right there um but i'm pretty sure that she's not here right now um she probably did her signs early in the morning has to go take a break but you guys can just see how many different collectibles there are how many Funko Pop vendors are here. Though I have been to like like a collectible show before, this is probably one of the most impressive ones. As far as Funko Pops go, they definitely scale very high. You can see like the displays are, like again, it's a lot of Funko Pops. So this is probably the most amount of Funko Pops I've seen in a store. This probably has more Funko Pops than the actual Funko store in Hollywood and Everett, Washington. This is pretty insane. So I'm gonna go around, kind of like talk to people and then eventually I'll show you guys certain Funko Pops from each booth and we'll give you give each booth like a shout out. So the first booth that we're gonna be entering in is the Pops and Sun booth in the very front. I'm pretty sure they're showing off like all their grails because these are some pretty cool ones. You got Jiminy Cricket, Sorcerer Mickey. Those are like two vintage ones. Got a flocked chopper. This was like the re-release because you can see it's the special edition Funko sticker, the new one. Moving down here, we got some of the uh, Dark Knight Rises Funko Pops, older Matrix Pops, a lot of bolted stuff. This one looks amazing. It's the Glow in the Dark Slimer Funko Pop. Really need that in my collection. Um, that is the, what, the San Diego Comic Con one right there. Pretty awesome. Moving down here, we got um, some Batman versus Superman Comic Con. We got some, the Chrome one. This is a 2017 Blue Chrome Batman Funko Pop. Moving down, we got Joel. He obviously became a girl after The Last of Us shows just came out. That limited edition Young Ben Funko Pop. But yeah, they just got so many rare Funko Pops at their booth. And I've seen it just everywhere, guys. There's just a lot of rare Funko Pops here. So actually stepping into the booth, we got the New York City Comic Con Behemoth uh, from Nightmare Before Christmas. 25 bucks is not bad. Over here, we got the Flock Marie and Smee. They got the Toys R Us Root Funko Pop. Over on this wall, they have the uh, Summer Convention Nightcrawler Pop, Poison Spider-Man Glow Chase, um, Red Hole Caught Topic. Um, moving over here onto this wall, they have quite a few pops. They have the, some of the Killer Clowns Pops, as you guys know, some of those I believe got bolted. Comic Book Guy right down there. Moving down here, they have a really cool FYA exclusive Kurt Cobain Funko Pop. 
um big bang theory pizza rat down there Eric jeter chase that's a cool one they actually do carry a bunch of lounge flies they actually have them displayed right outside of this so there's a funny skit they actually have a sing for a free funko pop i will not be doing that today but it is pretty funny that they actually offer this like one of the vendors here offer this so it's pretty awesome all right guys so we're gonna go ahead and check out geek out toys and collectibles here at geek out and popping decals they have the uh luffy with going mary missed out on that one they have the splash mountain pop ride that was a disney parks exclusive obviously now bolted the chest shot at the mad party which was limited to 2,000 pieces for WonderCon. the karama mode glow in the dark the pirates of the caribbean treasure skeleton glow in the dark limited to 4,000 pieces and they have the sleeping beauty castle with bolt so this is just a table of grills right there of like oversized pops that you have the mariotti and becker two pack right there for 10 bucks and then moving into the grail wall this is what i call the grail wall because they have a bunch of convention exclusives limited edition pieces so here they have the freddy funko with the fright night 3500 pieces right there this was the freddy funko as the as they live alien right there so 1600 pieces this is the one that i really want to get eventually not going to get it today but it's 1600 pieces freddy funko as the trick-or-treat sam and then moving over here this is the ones that they released online they got the zero limited to 3,000 pieces they got bat boy on the phonetics day out for 200 bucks and then going down they got leatherface the chase version the mandalorian freddy funk i remember i really wanted that one the indiana jones disney parks exclusive um qui-gon ghost face right there and then they actually have a bunch of grill pops signed too so they have that merle dixon sign the maggie gemini collectible exclusive dwight fall convention i mean guys it's insane they have so many pops they had the three pack of the splash mountain they got billy right there you guys know that one in my collection is like my my crown and then right there they got hero killer stain with the new york city comic-con Freddy Krueger with the syringes hot topic exclusive glow in the dark demogorgon that was part of the bag that we missed out on for 90 bucks I mean this is an insane wall of girl pops all right guys we are going into the collector's choice booth and then here are all their social medias let's go inside and show you guys what they got here they actually have a sale going on so these are three for 25 dollars anything on this wall i'm guessing it's like a mixture of like damaged pops and like pops that aren't like too crazy or like if you really want them so and common pops as well probably but they do got a few that are pretty nice moving here they have the limited to 4,000 pieces freddy funko as tron that's a really nice one right there they got a few of the doom pops that we have covered in the past some riverdale pops notorious big with the new york city comic-con sticker over here they have the limited edition uh big silver 5,000 pieces from hot topic jackie robinson chase the Jimi hendrix uh black light funko pop that dropped flock pikachu Ooh, the diamond eevee funko pop they got the bambi one that came with the bag with the San Diego comic-con sticker they actually got this tenya funko pop i'm not sure if they have the price like underneath or not but yep they got the tenya pop that's a cool one Ooh, they have the San Diego comic-con mewtwo flock moving over here they have a quite a few san diego comic-con funko pops they have the metallic beers so they actually have two of them they got a few of the nft release pops green goblin metallic chase scooby-doo uh morning cartoons all right they have a breaking bad san diego comic-con 2015 blue crystal heisenberg then here they got ringo which was limited to 400 pieces you can only get at the convention metallic genie from san diego comic-con 2013 over here I actually completely like went over it but it was the tony montana funko pop so yeah they got a bunch of grills we're here at the flash games comics and toys and they have like absolute like grills guys i mean funko pops that are really really hard to get so they got my own prize possession which is a funko pop universal monsters black and white right there john cena um wwe exclusive michelangelo uh, metallic batgirl the mike wazowski glow chase which is limited to 480 pieces they got the ghost rider right there some watchmen funko pops um the gremlins chase i actually had that one they have captain spaulding some a uh, thank you freddy that glows in the dark moving down here we got vegeta the old school pinocchio i mean guys they have absolute grail funko pops so moving into this table right here they just have even more funko pops seeing that napoleon dynamite definitely an old one right there moving over here we're gonna show you guys the 
a, another wall of grails. We got the Doctor Doom of Marvel Funko Pop. Alien right there, the metallic version, 480 pieces. They got Michael Myers Glow Chase. Again, another grill in my collection that you guys know about. The metallic Red Hulk, 480 pieces. The Joker, Bank Robber Joker. The Glow in the Dark 2 pack of the Bank Robber Joker and the regular Joker um, from the Dark Knight trilogy. The Ariel and Ursula Metallic San Diego Comic Con. Here they have the limited edition 10 piece Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, but this one is outside of the box. It's not in the box. Then they got over here the Joker Freddy Funko, um, right there, 206 piece. Um, a few sign pops, but I mean, this goof right here is just filled with grills. I got Orange Bird, Tony the Tiger. I mean, if you guys want, um, these girl funko pops definitely go ahead and check them out i'm pretty sure they do have a store so there you go guys that is the address of the store right here so definitely go ahead and check it out all right guys we are here at the toy kingdom booth we're gonna go ahead and check out their it's kind of like a grill table here because they have so many different pops over here they got the jolly roger from pirates of the caribbean for 75 bucks they have the fright knife uh, freddy funko a bunch of signed funko pops over here they got aizawa sign they got the jingle fet from walgreens and over here, probably a Funko Pop that I would really want, really want eventually is the L Pop from Death Note. That's an awesome one right there. Got Captain America moving here. They got another Orange Bird Pop. They got the original Goonies chunk. Ooh, they have the Glow in the Dark Electro from Sp The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Freddy Funko as Chucky. The Aaron Titan form for Hot Topic for 90 bucks. That's a really awesome one. And then the FYE exclusive Attack on Titan black and white pop right there. You got Venomized Magneto. This one is with the New York City Comic Con sticker. The Ahsoka from LACC Glow in the Dark. I mean, they just have so many different Fungo Pops here at the Toy Kingdom booth in PopCon. All right, and then on this table, they actually have a lot more signed Funko Pops. Yeah, it got the Gabriel Iglesias Funko Pop right there. Michael Myers Pop sign. They got a few of like the oversized Pops over here. The Dapper Dance, I actually got that one in my collection. Pretty awesome. The Flintstone Ride, that was like 6,000 pieces. And that's an old one too. But again, a lot of Pops. They actually do have a bin of like $5 Pops here. So if you do want to go ahead and check it out. King Louie, the OG Disney. I am currently taking a quick look at the Ezra and the Buggy. I did get a uh, price for it. And honestly, I'm very, I'm considering it. I am considering it. It's an awesome Pop. I'm Caleb from Caleb and Sam Rocket Show, and this is our booth. We're here at uh, PopCon Orlando, and uh, come see us, or we'll see you at the next show. All right, guys, so over here in this booth, they have a bunch of Chase Funko Pops, as you guys can see. They got um, Glow Chases. They got a few of these Batman Chase Pops. Um, over here, the Iron Maiden Chase Pop looks really cool right there. The Jason Voorhees one, you guys know I love that pop right there. The Hot Topic exclusive. Honestly, pretty good price on it, too. And then moving over here, they got a few more pops, some WWE pops over there. And then here, they actually have the Universal Monsters one. So they got the newer one, which was the Invisible Man black and white for 15 bucks, which is pretty good price. The Wolfman at 25 and then the OG Walgreens dropped. That was like 20 bucks right there. Then moving over here, they got the Pop Town, which was the Peter Venkman with Firehouse. You guys know I love that pop as well. Pretty awesome Ghostbusters pop. And yeah, they actually have the Harry Potter and a few of the oversized pops too so the allison at the mad tea party demogorgon 10 inch that's a cool one to see i don't really see that one too often going at these places so yeah a lot of awesome pops and then we're actually going to show you guys a little stranger things section that they have here in the front so they got the mr clark uh 2017 summer convention exclusive pop you got brenner dustin i mean i actually might go ahead and take a look at that mr clark pop because i do need it in my collection they have the 11 underwater 11 in the rainbow room and yeah i mean a lot of awesome pops here all right guys we're going to the golden boy collectibles booth and we're gonna go ahead and show you guys some of the funko pops that they have here so they actually have the big apple collectibles offer one pop and then moving which i mean it's funny because of all the controversy that it has right now the boba fett um walmart exclusive is actually pretty good 15 bucks only moving over here they actually have the bait glow in the dark exclusive astro boy that's a pretty awesome pop glow, glow chase sasuke over there Moving on here, they got the Gloomy Bear Toy Tokyo. They actually have a bunch of signed Funko Pops over here. That clown in the Jackbox card, the Funko Shop exclusive, it's just insane. Like that one did skyrocket. And this is actually the best price we saw for the Freddy Funko Fright Night shirt one, which is only $70. And then again, more signed pops. The Buggy Clown just came out. The fact they got his sign is pretty awesome. All right, guys. So we are here in the Funko Chases or Pops and such. They actually have a bunch of signed 
Funko Pops here. This is probably like, they, so they only specialize in signed pops. They also like represent some of the talent that is at these conventions sometimes. So they got right there like the Flock Tails Pop sign. They got just so many different pops. They have a lot of the Meyer Academia, probably English voice actors here signed as well. E.T., so I'm very surprised um, that they actually have the E.T. Funko Pop sign. This is actually a really cool um, person to get because I think E.T. Pops are just so cool. And then they actually have the Fire Force Pop sign. As you guys know, those got bolted very recently. Moving over here, they got some Dragon Ball um, pops that were signed. And then moving on to this side, they have even more um, signed pops. This is actually really cool that they went ahead and got the Constance Hatchaway um, signed pop as well. That's actually one I wouldn't even expect. And then got a Kakashi signed pop and Kenny from Attack on Titan. So a lot of cool pops. And actually for the Sunday event, they actually have a 10% discount for Sunday only. So, all right, so we are currently at the Jeff and Holly Collectibles and Gifts. They actually have a bunch of Pokemon cards here, a bunch of singles, which actually you don't really see that very often in these uh, events. Like I haven't seen that many um, singles. They actually have a bunch of graded cards over here as well. Some of the older promo stuff. So they got the Deoxys. And of course they have some Funko Pops over here on the back side. I mean, they got the Mickey Mouse. Actually, I've never, I've never seen this uh, Funko Shop exclusive Mickey Mouse. That's a cool one right there. All right, guys, so here we are in this booth. So these are the gallery statues over here on this side. And then moving over here, they got the belts. And the really cool thing is he actually has the Funko Pops displayed in each belt display. So it's awesome. I mean, guys, if you're a big fan of wrestling, you got so many different um, belts with the Pops to this place. So it's pretty cool. You got the money in the bank right there. But for anybody that is an NBA fan, we actually just made a video on the all Miami Heat Funko Pops. They got Dwayne Wade, LeBron James. And they actually have every single NBA Funko Pop on here, except for two guys. So if you want your NBA Funko Pops, the here is currently selling the entire collection all as one. They actually got right there the LeBron James, Dwight Howard, the Dwayne Wade, Steph Curry. So again, the two packs that we just covered, they probably have every single one here. All right, guys, so we're actually at a personal booth right now. So here we have some awesome Funko Pops. We got the Curse Barbosa Funko Pops from Pirate of the Caribbean. They got the um, Mandrake Grindelon, the 2016 three pack. And that's actually with the San Diego Comic-Con sticker right there. That's an awesome pop. A few of the NFT pops here, the um, colored flocked Bigfoot that's limited to 2,500 pieces. The Ochako Chase Funimation Fungal Pop. You guys probably know that's a hard one to get. Got a few of these really cool custom Pokemon Pops. Um, from Smay right there, the New York City Comic Con. This is actually funny enough, if you guys know the drama of this, people were a little upset that the sticker went on the outside and not on the inside, and then they actually re-released, I think, that pop in a future thing. But the sticker is what makes it, give it gives it its value. You got the Ace the Bat Hound right there. A few of these seven bucks of pops drops, uh, signed pop series right here. So they got Carl. They actually got the Brook Fall Convention, the Law Pop. I mean, and they also have a bunch of signed prints here as well. So a lot of cool Funko Pops. And this is, you guys can't see stuff like this unless you go to your, like your local conventions and stuff. So again, if you're ever in the Orlando area, definitely come check out PopCon because again, this is a personal collection that's only displaying here. So definitely check it out. So here we are at Professor Josh and Shannon's booth. <laughs> I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have probably watched uh, his videos online on YouTube. And he also has an Instagram. So you guys got to go ahead and check him out as well. Not as well. So we're actually going ahead and checking out the booth. And they have a lot of awesome pops. So they, they got more of these Smay uh, custom pops. Kind of over here, the Ernie um, Freddy Funko, which is limited to 400 pieces. That's the 2016. Got over here, the Ellie Aquaman Metallic. And then, guys, here we have the Disney Store Maleficent uh, Metallic. 360 pieces. And it's kind of like the oversized one as well, which makes it even more special. And then over here, they have, again, the Aaron Titan form. The Freddy Funko has nose for that, too. That one came out in the Friday Night Box. We got that one in an earlier video. And then, as you guys can see, he has a bunch of the signed pops right here from My Heart Academia and different animes. Moving down here, we have actually a PSA 10 um, graded signed Funko Pop. So that's awesome. And then a few, they have the Samurai Brook chase funko pop moving here dr allen grant i've shown this one before this one's gone up in price heavily in the last few years they actually have a more nft exclusives hey what's up everyone i'm professor josh and um yeah, hopefully you can check out my channel too but i appreciate everyone stopping by that popcon and checking out our booth we always do whatnot and all kinds of fun stuff so hopefully you check out our channel put up three videos a week we are currently at another booth and we just found this awesome prison guard walker for 120 bucks that is limited to a thousand and eight pieces from the walking dead 
and they actually have a few of these older pops right here as well they got zorok brock and data as well moving over here they have a few older despicable me pops so agnes and gone batty they actually have a bunch of stranger things pops some that i do not have in my collection and i kind of do need so they got the joyce and the biohazard suit they actually have the old school edward scissorhands for 60 bucks the old school Leatherface chucky and they also have the gargoyle boar for 30 bucks and that is a funko hq exclusive and then oh they actually have the big bird funko pop down there for 40 bucks sub-zero chase from mortal kombat 10 i mean it's this booth right here they have a lot of stuff and again it is another personal booth this way here at popcon so make sure to go ahead and check out your local cons check out if you guys are here local to florida make sure to come out to popcon because they have a lot of really cool funko pops ladies and gentlemen all right guys so here we have pop fandom toys and they just have an insane amount of grills if you're going to PopCon, you have to come here, guys, because it is all grills in here. I mean, they just have a wall full of just grill Funko Pops, and they look pretty amazing. Probably the most amount of grills we've seen at the con itself. And then over there, you can see even the Ryuk Funko Pop. And, I mean, yeah, definitely check them out. Pop Fandom Toys on Instagram. So that about does it for us here at PopCon Orlando. Um, Honestly, an amazing event that they threw here. Uh, for a person that's been collecting Funko Pops for so long, this is the most amount of Pops I've seen in a single room. Just because, I mean, I've gone to a few collectible shows, but nothing has been as big as this right here. Um, if you're a fan of Funko Pops, definitely go ahead and make sure you check out PopCon, guys. Um, they, they're gonna be hosting an event in August, and again, they're just gonna have new more voice actors and a comic book artist uh, that does Marvel characters. So yeah, definitely go and check out PopCon, guys. So that is, we're done here. For us but awesome event so it's about a week later since we filmed that popcon video once again it was an amazing event and i can't wait to go to the next one that's going to be hosted in august um just to let you guys know if you guys are big fans of convention videos just like this one we're going to be going to spookala next weekend and we're going to probably have a video out the weekend after that uh covering all the spookala that is going to be our first event that we're going for multiple days we are planning on heading out there for saturday and sunday so make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you guys are excited for those types of videos. We're going to keep cranking out convention videos just like this because we know that you guys enjoy them and I enjoy them too. So again, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Please leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys on the next one.